Right, so setup wise, you can see right hand one here now, this side is just a little bit taller. I think some yeah. on occasion you kind of point your chest down this way to get it leveled off with the shoulder. You need to get that little bit of tilt there, get that left side a bit higher, okay? Feeling wise in the backswing, we've got to make sure we turn, okay? And in the winter time we get lazy, don't turn as much, okay? Both of these are actually a pretty decent backswing in terms of how far you're going back, okay? Making a nice shoulder turn there, okay, to the top. But you're completing the swing with the body turn, not your hands and your arms, yeah. making some kind of like substitute movement, okay? The feeling now from the top of the back is obviously the hips are going to move this way and the hands are going to win that race back to the golf ball, okay? Now, if we look at it, I'm going to sort of showcase some of the positions here now. There's not a bad hip movement there. You're, going to have a little, you're not going to stay kind of way back here because obviously you're a good golfer, okay? But in terms of the movement here now, as we come through, okay, your left arm now, you can see that kind of like what we call chicken wing bend up, okay, which is generally mm. a sign your arms are going to cross your body and the left arm's got to kind of break down for the right arm to keep up with the club. If we look here now at impact as you come through, okay, same good impact here. Now there's kind of your hands just after impact there. So we get a nice sort of lead line now from left shoulder, left hand, or left hands or hands, I suppose, as you swing through. And look at your left arm there now. A little bit more extension this way through the golf ball as you're releasing through. Whereas this one now, that left elbow pulling up a little bit, that left yeah. shoulder looks a little bit like, where am I going to go kind of thing? Because yeah. you've hit it kind of with a not as much turn as you could and then you've kind of gone this way. Try to keep the shoulder underneath and then just done that, yeah? Yeah. If we get the hip to move towards target, then the right shoulder can twist through as much yes. as it likes and not try and hang back too much. And it just gives you more kind of, I mean, the hands there aren't really in that much of a different position there, okay, in terms yeah. of how far they've gone. But this one here is a lot closer and folding up there, where that one's a lot wider. How much space there is from your hands to your heads. But yeah. you're keeping that width, the arms are extending through a lot better. And that feeling of kind of holding off the club, hitting it with kind of, we did a couple here, there's the shorter one here where you sort of swing through it, okay. That kind of movement there, hitting some shots kind of this way. You fire your right side, but you keep your hands and your, the club face in, in the right kind of sink here, not allowing this to happen or this to happen, okay? If your shoulder works under too much and these don't move, you'll bottom out behind the ball. You might strike it okay on occasions because you'll figure out where the ball is, but it'll be a pull left, yeah. okay? Or unless you sort of then try to manipulate the club face too much. We want the lower half to move in better. So from the top of the back, so you normally would do anyway, Okay, get that left sort of higher, left side. So from there now we're going to shift to the left side. So your left leg now you can see again almost a sort of vertical straight line. Mm. Left hip, left shoulder, left foot, kind of in line. There's that club to come into impact. Okay, potentially on this one here we could have got our hands a smidgen further forward. I mean that's roughly impact. Yeah. Ball's kind of been struck there. Okay, could potentially get those hands a smidgen further forward. But again, it's further forward in a straight line towards target not further forward kind of like yeah. otherwise you'll get the one that's pinging off there okay but yeah i mean just that pulls going from me again not quite the same synchronization arms and body yeah. club face a bit closed releasing the club nicely we're just starting to see far left yeah. we get that back turning more on the way back keep those hands and arms working in the right position this way keep that club face square ball goes straight in further yeah and that'll be the same with three as well obviously yeah. three, you have the same sort of release through the ball if you want to so make sure you get that back swing completed. Hockey dokey? Lovely. Right, do you want to try for the sewer then? Yeah. Go for it.